Welcome back to Your Own University TV. My name is Lisha Antica, and today we're gonna to be talking about your body, and specifically weight, extra weight, why you hang on to that weight, why you think you hang on to that weight might not be the reason why you actually are hanging on to the weight, or why you're eating a lot, or you're not eating enough, <laughs> so we're gonna talk about all of that so you can reverse this cycle and you can take your power back. But first, leave me a comment. Tell me if this resonates with you. I wanna to get to know you because that's why I'm doing all this. Join us at your own university, where you continue to discover the ultimate you. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. You're not going to want to miss a bit of this. Fourth time's a charm. This is going on forever. Oh my gosh, I have so much information to share with you. So if you have been in the cycle of gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight and, weight and wonder why the diets aren't working, the um, workouts aren't working, why things keep falling apart in your life, then this might very well be your ticket to freedom. And I'm so excited to share it with you, but I could teach an hour, two hour class on it and I very well might do that <laughs> for you. I kind of did yesterday in my Facebook group and which sparked this video for, for today is this cycle of not being comfortable in your skin, the cycle of wanting to change how we look and why we get into that cycle and why our bodies really agree with it and why our bodies, how our bodies are really loving us by gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight and how you can stop the cycle is what I'm hoping to share with you today that really resonates with you and I'm gonna talk fast because there's a lot of information I wanna get out. All right, number one, number one, your unconscious brain is your physical body. I'm gonna say that again. Your unconscious brain is your physical body. So your unconscious brain works your heart and your breathing and, and those um, automatic n movements that we do and everything, right, from the fire and all this stuff. Um, but it also stores issues in your tissues. So old unconscious memories that you couldn't process during the time because you didn't have the coping mechanisms, maybe you're too young, or unconscious belief systems that you bought into as a child that now run your life. <laughs> Bad news. Your subconscious brain that we're told really runs the show, the major show, you can pull up memories with, but guess what? It is directly connected to your nervous system, which runs through all of your connective tissues, which creates reactivity. So we don't have very much power over it until we understand it and then we can shift both of these systems. So today I wanna to help you shift both of these systems in regards to one of the major reasons that I've noticed in my 20 year career in fitness and wellness and health as a holistic coach that we gain weight and we lose weight and we gain weight and we lose weight and has nothing to do with working out or eating. I'm going to assume in this video that you work out and have you know, walk up mountains, do things, you're an active person, and that you eat a pretty darn good diet. And I've met so many men and women that eat great diets and still have weight on them that they've been trying to lose for years. My mother was this way for years, just, I mean, still just trying to lose weight, same 10 pounds all the time, it's there. And it just sucks, right? It consumes your life. So let's unconsume your life with that. Now, the number one reason that I found that my clients, mainly women, but I know this is, affects my, ma my male clients as well, gain weight is because they don't feel safe. And I'm gonna talk about something specific in relationships that makes us not feel safe because it's usually the core wound 
of this belief. And when you can tap into that, then you can start shifting and reasoning how your body is loving you so much by gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight. Losing weight. Because it's literally stuck in this paradigm of belief. All right. So the first belief that is, um, you know, truth is that you feel more comfortable in your skin when you are at a weight, at a fitness level, that makes you feel great and confident, right? It varies for everybody. So there's no particular weight. It's not a fucking chart, but it's there. Excuse my language. If it bothers you, I'm sorry. Um, two is that it's healthier, right? To be in a good weight zone. It's healthier, it's easier to get around, it's more fun, you can be more active, you can do more things. So it's good to be lean, right? It's good to be at your ideal weight. Flip side of that is it's not safe. And usually why we come to this belief system that it's not safe to be at our ideal weight is because our bodies at our ideal weight when we were at that age, when we were young, were um, deemed to some sort of abuse whether it was being used or played by the boy that we liked a lot, right? And we were pretty and then we weren't pretty enough. <laughs> or we were abused and our bodies were blamed for it. Or cat calls or anything. And like, like that, right? We get it. We have this abuse that when we're in our skin, when we're in our skin, when we're in our healthy, vibrant bodies, that we are subject to being abused. So many people you know, there's three out of five of us, men and women, guys, three out of five. Hey, so this is a huge core belief that is keeping us unhealthy is this relationship with our body that it's not safe to be lean. It's not safe to be fit. It's not safe for us to have this. Now let's flip side that and let's look at society. So society, especially when I was a kid, um, had all the magazines and everything, and even worse, the generation before me, the magazines and everything of lean tone people. And we're, we look at lean tone people, um, especially thin people, models, as like some idealistic thing, right? So they are in society, they're looked at more appealing, better, more worthy, and just simply more worthy of love more worthy of, of riches, more worthy of everything. And it's in the magazines. This is a society belief thing. Now it can be a relationship thing. I know I've definitely experienced it in a relationship, but it's because I bought into the belief, right? So this belief system is huge. And yes, we are getting better. There are shapes and sizes and colors and of all sorts in the magazines now. We are really learning how to balance this out. But it's still a core belief for so many people that are, um, you know, between the ages of 20 and older. Hey, um, my kids right now, it's kind of getting to them a little bit, but they have a little different relationship with um, thick, right? Everybody wants to be thick. If you're not thick, like you're not it. So I'm like, I wish I grew up when I was with you, like in your life, like I'd have a really good self-esteem. But, um, but we didn't, right? So we have this belief system that it's not, we aren't worthy if we aren't lean. Does this make sense? So we gain weight because we're not safe and then we lose weight because we're not worthy. And then we gain weight because we're not safe and we lose weight because we're not worthy. And it's this vicious cycle of a belief system that is trapped in our early childhood memories is trapped in our subconscious languaging that we talk to ourselves at and really crappy behaviors that we go to the gym to people please. We go to the gym to um, lose weight, right? Which is making ourselves wrong and fixing something, fixing ourselves. Instead of going to the gym to be healthy and happy. If you talk to um, a lot of the fitness professionals, they're at the gym to be healthy and happy. Right? A lot of people that are really naturally fit and like into it, like they do it because they love it, not because they have to. So if you're doing it because you have to or to fix or change something, take this to heart. Look at safety and look at worthy in your life and 
and just say, huh, how can I bring more of this into myself? Because your body unconsciously and subconsciously loves you so much that it's gonna keep you safe and it's gonna make sure that you're loved. Because there's nothing more that we want than to be loved and seen and accepted for who we are. Right? And, and qualify for that just to be. What's happening here is we gain weight to stay safe, which is our body saying, yes, like let's be safe, let's be secure, I friggin' love you. And then we lose weight to feel accepted and loved. And it's our body saying, yes, you're accepted, you're loved. It's kind of a confidence thing, right? And it creates this vicious cycle. But in order to believe it, to feel that safety, to feel that worthiness, it's, it's a never ending struggle until you actually shift those belief systems and believe that you can defend yourself that you can stand up for yourself, that you can set the boundaries, that you can act accordingly to make sure that you are safe, that you can stand for your worth, that you are beautiful just the way that you are, that you are worthy of, of being wonderful, that you like yourself, that you love yourself. That's when things really shift. And that's when you relax and your body can come to a weight that's more easily and effortless to sustain. So how do you get through this in 30 seconds or less? One, create your own safe space. Stop listening to the outside world. Stop trying to fix yourself. You're perfect, you're beautiful. We all have different shapes. We all have different sizes. We all have cellulite. We all have things going on. And, and begin to learn how to be safe in your own skin. Affirm that for yourself. Find coaching, a counselor, anything that helps you really, really discover what it is and what it means to be safe in your own skin for you for you and deal with the issues that made you feel unsafe and blamed your body to begin with. Let's stop blaming our body, period. Just stop blaming your body. It wasn't your body's fault. Those people were sick and they probably experienced the same thing, right? So diving into that is huge. And if you would like help with that, of course, you can look me up, lishaantica.com. That's my personal coaching business. Now, if you um, have this, this, idealistic version of I don't qualify for love, I don't qualify for wealth, I don't qualify for happy, I don't qualify for the beach, I don't qualify for my class reunion, I don't qualify for whatever, getting married, right? How many people go on this like crash diet to get married? I don't qualify, that's how it shows up. Um, you can qualify <laughs> and it's a choice. And it's a choice by seeing how society has imprinted in your brain this false belief system that a certain body type is more worthy than another body type and you can begin to qualify and when you are safe and you qualify for love you won't attract people into your life that are going to back up your negative belief you're not going to attract people in your life that are going to um, re-prove that you are not safe being in your beautiful skin. And you're not gonna attract people and situations in your life that are going to prove that you're unworthy. Now, when you're shifting this belief, I do have to say you might bump into those things. These are tests from the universe also saying I love you. Then you set your boundaries, you move away, and you say I'm done. Right? So you do have to lay those clear lines, but they're more for yourself than the other person. It's for the universe. It's for you to just say, no, I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing this vicious cycle of gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight. I am safe and I am worthy. I am safe and I am deserving. So you are safe and you are deserving. If this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up this resonates with you, tell me your story below. I want to hear from you. I want to know you. It's so important for me to hear from you, to know you. If you know a girlfriend or a guy friend that is on this vicious cycle, share this video with them. It's my gift of awareness with you. And begin to tell yourself a different story, that you are safe and that you are worthy. 
And that's today's video. Thanks for being at your own university. Talk to you next time.